Yes, First and foremost, Chase, congratulations on your commitment today. What did it feel like to finally put that information out there? Uh, it was exciting. Uh, I got to uh, publicly announce it. Um, it was great because all the coaches this morning texted me like we're ready. And it was just uh, exciting, I would say, for the most part. What was it about Arkansas, Sam Pittman, and this coaching staff that really drew you to this program? Um, one of the things that drew me to it uh, was one of my big things, like, throughout the whole recruiting process was uh, joining, a, like, really help building a team up instead of just joining, like, a powerhouse or just becoming, like, part of the program. And at Arkansas, I feel like that was a – it was a great opportunity to do that. And then Coach Carter, uh, every, even though he was the most recent offers, uh, he – I've talked to him about – twice every day uh, and build a really good connection with him and it just made the decision a lot easier. I love that you want to be a building block for this Arkansas program and what Sam Pittman is trying to do here. What is it about you that makes you want to be one of those people? Because not every football player, not every athlete wants to do that. Um, well, it's something because I, uh, I'll say I like to be like a leader of sorts. So like uh, basically is helping and like helping whatever way I can, even like that's a small role, like coming into it. If that's just like a small role, just being someone that builds people up, then I can do that just whatever basically the team needs. And uh, it's just my character of how it's been like raised and brought up. Talking with Otis Kirk, who's our uh, recruiting insider, he tells us that you talked to a lot of the other guys who are already committed in this class, like Lucas Coley, uh, to help you kind of figure out exactly what you wanted to do and help you decide that Arkansas was the place to be. What did they tell you? Um, they told me, so they they went into like why they committed and how they had full trust in Coach Pittman and also like the coaches that were recruiting them. And I felt the same way because uh, after my conversations with Coach Pittman, he seemed like a great dude. Uh, he just, just like through phone calls and that conversations through the phone, uh, he makes you want to go run through a wall or ready to play uh, right there and then and there. What is it about Coach Carter that you love? We've heard so much since he got here about the way that he recruits and the way that he builds relationships with his guys. Um, some. Freak out a little bit. Uh, something that Coach Carter, I'll uh, say, uh, he's straight up with it. Uh, he tells you, he's like, he tells you like what's ha happening. He won't sugarcoat anything. And he's like a younger DB coach, younger coach. So you can, uh, he's a lot more relatable, and then relatable more to me because uh, he's like he played well. He played down here in T mm -hmm. TCU, which is kind of close to where I live, yep. and so he knows like this area, just like a whole recruiting process in general because he was getting recruited at one point. And uh, it's just real easy to connect to them. Were you able to see um, the campus at all in person or were all of your visits, virtual visits and, and talks over Zoom and over the phone? Well, I got to see the campus a little bit, but now I was on a football visit. Uh, mm -hmm. one, of my, uh, one of my good friends, his uh, cousin goes there. So mm -hmm. I went like up there for like about before COVID hit. So like in January, I'll say. And then uh, the most of the recent ones have just been online virtual visits and tours. Yeah, so what did you think about the campus and the facilities or what you got to see, you know, from the outside? Uh, while I was there, I thought it was a beautiful campus. Uh, one of the better campuses I've seen than, uh, than some of the other places I visited. Um, and then also the virtual tour, they have some real nice facilities. <laughs> and um, just like, the stadium is nice. Everything about it is nice. Well, tell us a little bit about Chase Lowry, the football player. What do you bring to the table, um, especially in the secondary? Uh, well, I think I bring uh, – I'm a more versatile player. I can play more than just uh, corner. I can play safety, nickel. I just move around a little bit. And then also uh, real physical receivers and can run with big, uh, faster ones and also can be aggressive with the bigger guys. All right, so who is Chase Lowry off the football field, man? What do you like to do uh, when you're not working out and playing football? I like to really hang with my friends. Um, uh, let's say hang with my little brother, mm -hmm. even though I say cause it's a little annoying sometimes, but it's all good. Uh, I just say laid back and then just goes with the flow. And last uh, but not least, man, how excited are you to be playing at an SEC school in the SEC West uh, and what people say is the best conference, best division in a conference in the country? Um, I feel great. I feel excited. Uh, just uh, going into it, I know how. Well, you know, SEC West, you're playing dogs week in and week out. Like, you just have to be ready each each week because you might go against a, a one top dog. You're going against people who have the potential to play in the league. So you got to be ready. 
Well, hey, we really appreciate you catching up with us and uh, can't Thank wait for you. you to get to the Hill here in a couple of years. Thank you. All right, Chase, thanks so much.